Good morning and welcome to the Morning Outlook. I'm James Preston reporting live from Calcine TV's Sydney studios. The Australian share market is poised to open higher following a positive lead from Wall Street on Friday. Wall Street closed at record levels on Friday on the back of a strong US jobs report and positive sentiments surrounding corporate earnings. On Friday, the best performing sector was communication services up by 1.7%. And the worst performing sector was information technology down by 1.6%. In terms of individual performers, the best performing stock in the S&P ASX 200 was Link Administration Holdings, closing 8.6% higher at $4.70 a share. It was followed by shares in News Corp and also Northern Star Resources. The worst performing stock in the S&P ASX 200 was Kleinuval Pharmaceuticals, closing 12.5% lower at $35.50 a share. It was followed by shares in Virgin Money UK and also Afterpay. The ASX 200 is on track for a 0.3% or 22 points higher opening. At the closing bell last week, the S&P ASX 200 was 0.4% or 29 points higher at 7,457, which marked a weekly close of 1.8% or 133 points higher. Friday's Wall Street efforts saw the Dow Jones rising nearly 0.6% to 36,327.95. And the S&P 500 gained 0.4% to 4,697.53. The tech-heavy Nasdaq inched up by 0.2% to 15,971.59. Let's now take a look at some local news from this morning, beginning with a big story involving Sydney Airport. Sydney Airport has agreed to a $32 billion takeover bid from the IFM Investors and Global Infrastructure Partners Consortium. The proposal was discussed over the weekend and Sydney Airport is set to encourage shareholders to accept the bid. It's understood to be worth $8.75 a security, the same price the consortium offered to get due diligence for in September and would be done via a scheme of arrangement. Should the deal progress as planned, it would be the largest ever cash bid for an Aussie listed company. The bid values Sydney Airport's equity at $23.6 billion Aussie dollars and the company itself at about $32.2 billion, including debt. And Cedar Woods Properties has announced the acquisition of an 86-hectare site in Eglinton, Perth, for $49.5 million Aussie dollars. The acquisition significantly expands Cedar Woods' portfolio. The site will add over 1,200 lots to Cedar Woods' development pipeline and is expected to contribute to the company's earnings over 11 years from the 2024 financial year. Time now for a very quick break on the Morning Outlook before we turn our attention overseas. Property by Kalkine. Looking for a dream home? Well, that may sound easy, but it isn't. And from looking for a property that is the right fit for you in terms of cost and other factors, to zeroing down on the right mortgage plan, there are various aspects to consider. And for the latest slowdown in the property market, tune in on Calkine TV with me, Sage. I will give the latest updates on the property market as well as real estate stocks to help you make the right decision. Keep watching Property with Calkine. Welcome back to the Morning Outlook Report. The European Central Bank is set to meet on Wednesday in Frankfurt, the US Federal Reserve will meet in December and the Bank of England will meet on the 16th of December. London's FTSE 100 rose on Friday by 0.33% or 24.05 to settle at 7,303.96. The stock's Europe 600 added less than 0.1% to close at a record high. In Asia, MSCI's broadest index of Asia-Pacific shares outside Japan was 0.29% lower, and the Shanghai Composite lost 1% on Friday, and the Hang Seng Index closed 1.4% lower, whilst Japan's Nikkei fell by 0.6%. Oil prices improved from their Thursday position to finish the week on a positive note after OPEC reje rejected the US request to boost its output. Brent crude advanced $2.20 to end at $82.74 US per barrel and US West Texas Intermediate rose by $2.46 to finish at $81 US dollars and 27 cents a barrel. 
As for the world's favourite safe haven, gold prices rose following the Fed's dovish comments on interest rates. Gold futures surged 1.3% to end the week at $1,816 US dollars and 80 cents an ounce. In the commodity space, there was also positive news. Benchmark iron ore futures inched 0.3% higher to 583 UN a tonne, and coking coal futures rose 1.5% to 2,405 UN per tonne. And just as we wrap up, let's take a quick look at the cryptocurrency space. Over the past 24 hours, Bitcoin has jumped 2.02% at the time of writing to trade at 61,876 US dollars and 68 cents. Ethereum also enjoyed a 3.79% surge, reaching an all-time high, representing a strong period for the two biggest currencies. The biggest gainer in the crypto space was altcoin come meme coin, Green Moonzilla, increasing its price by a staggering 1,126% in 24 hours, according to CoinMarketCap. And the biggest loser in the past 24 hours is Sona Network, which has plummeted 50.93%. Well, that's all for our morning outlook report here on Kalkine TV. Have a great day trading. Stay tuned for more market updates and economic news live throughout the day. This is James Preston signing off for now.